On this episode, the shopping cart. Hey everybody, this is the quarter show. We're talking about something very fresh here and we're not in the e-commerce business, but the analogy applies. I just got off the phone with one of our guys here and we were talking about the shopping cart. And there's an epidemic in the world today and their buyers, prospects, buyers, I bet you've done this. You go to a website, you go to an e-commerce site, right? And you, there's some shorts that you're looking at getting, you stick them into your shopping cart, right? You, you put in the shopping cart and then you ditch the shopping cart and you don't come back, you close the site or whatever. And there's this whole thing in the e-commerce world where they have an epidemic of like, uh, how do they handle the shopping cart conversion to get the deal closed where they take it from the sh shopping cart and they execute the sale entirely as opposed to this like abandoned, abandoned cart or cart abandonment or whatever. I don't know what they call it, but I know if you look it up, there'll be statistics on cart abandonment or leaving shopping carts or e-commerce sites, and this is like an epidemic. And one of the problems is, epidemic, I'm joking, of course, but um, you know, in their universe it probably is. But uh, you know, the problem is that there's no sales rep, right? There's no actual sales rep. So they have to rely entirely on the computer to be able to pull this off, like the website to pull this off, to take the, the prospect through from the shopping cart all the way to doing the credit card and making the sale. And the truth is, is that human beings, all of us, we're just rigged this way. Um, like it or not, people need to be sold. They, they need to be sold and they need somebody to navigate them over the finish line. Um, and yes, e-commerce sites, yes, sales do happen and people do pull the trigger. But if you could capture a huge portion of those things that are in the shopping cart, it, uh, it, it would equal a huge amount of sales. And when we use that analogy, we're in the business business to business business, right? Our business to business is sales and we deal with companies like IBM and Lenovo and you know companies like that that are in the business to business tech, tech space and they deal with the same thing. And there's that same analogy, that same concept where it's stuck in the shopping cart. You've got a proposal, you've got a proposal to the prospect, it's sitting there, even maybe they verbally committed, like yeah, I'm doing this. You know, yeah, I'm gonna buy these shorts, you know? And it's like, and then nothing, right? And then it's not like, it's not pushing over the edge. They're not executing the shopping cart and taking it through and, and putting the credit card in and doing the sale. And there's something there. And you have to basically get on the phone. You have to make sure that they're sold. You have to be sold and you have to navigate them in. And at towards the end of the sales cycle, we call it hyper control, hyper control to navigate it into the harbor. And it has to be done. You can't just be like, okay, I hope it's coming in, I hope they're gonna sign off on this thing. I, uh -huh. We had an agreement, I, we, yeah. we talked verbally, they said they were gonna do it, they've got the proposal, everything. It's If that's happening, if that's happening, yeah. you're, it's not gonna happen. Yeah. If that's, with, yeah. without you stepping in, because here's the thing, and, and this is perfect because we can all relate to that shopping cart thing. Yeah, there we've are all done things, it. There are certain things like, and, and each of us has a different threshold. We have all have a different threshold. On iTunes, a dollar, two dollars, I mean, I'm just popping them off, I don't care. Sure. This thing, uh, 10 bucks, can we spend this, da, 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 50 bucks, da, da, da. you know, there's different thresholds and you just go, yeah, okay, bye, bye, I don't care, like that, I, I throw that on the ground, and, you know, and, and it wouldn't bother me. Like if I if it flew out the car window, I'd be like, oh shoot, that kind of, whatever, that's okay. Moving on, same thing's happening with your clients with their with their budgets or however they feel about the cash flow in the company or whatever they, they're thinking, yeah. they, they have a similar threshold where yeah. certain companies, I've got certain clients that I go, yeah, give me give me X thousand dollars and they go, click. Sure, yep, yeah, Ben, glad to get started, you know, so excited because it means nothing to them. But there are different thresholds, so when you run into that thing, you're going to have to sell more and guide more. You're going to have to you're going to have to improve the value. I've left shopping carts full of things that I really liked. I've yeah. unequivocally done it. Oh yeah, I've, uni I've unequivocally yeah. done it. Yeah. And and I and I I want the thing. Yeah. I need the thing. Yeah. And I have the money for the thing. Well, I just bought one. The I just bought a shirt the other day. And if another one shows up and my wife's at home and she sees it, and then I'm like, Yeah, isn't it great? And she's like, This is a hundred and fifty dollars shirt. What do you? Well, you know, sweet. I really want. You know. So there's this. I gotta be sold and more. I gotta that, be guided more, and I gotta be moved over the line. At that point, no, uh, I gotta be moved. Yeah. At that point, sorry, somebody tried to come in here. <laughs> at 
at that point, you have to, you have to, you essentially need somebody coming out of the computer to say, you know what, Ben, your old shorts don't fit. You put two inches on your waist. Yep. You need to get new shorts. You're going swimming in a week. You're going on vacation in a week. You need to get these shorts. Look, man, they're $50. It's not going to break the bank. It's not going to kill it for you. Let's go do this thing right now. Let's go here. Sign this thing. Pull out the credit card. Let's get these shorts. Whatever. You get the idea. But the point is, websites can't do that. The company can't do that. But that's really what needs to happen because some the human being needs that extra little oomph to say, let's go. They go from go into think. Yeah. And as soon as you hit think, you're, you're, it requires guidance. It requires more salesmanship and it requires guidance. Yeah. As soon as you hit the barrier of think about, think about anything, because you, you, can, you can see it in your own purchases. As soon as you start to think, how's the bank, have I spent recently? Will the wife think, and you, as soon as you start thinking, you're probably gonna close that shopping cart. So just have fun looking at the items because yeah. you're not gonna make your purchase. And neither will your clients if they run into that thing. It's the same thing. So you have to handle that whole shopping, shopping cart syndrome, essentially. And you have to know that they have it in the cart, they want it, they probably need it, they may actually have the budget, but what they need at that stage is they need that extra oomph to push them over the edge, right? They need to be sold. They need to be handled on any lingering last minute concern, question, consideration, objection that's still there. That needs to be tackled. And then they need to be sort of navigated into the harbor. Um, and it's just, that's, that's just human nature. That's not some manipulative thing or anything. That's just how human yeah. beings often are, yeah. including myself. Yeah. And quite yeah, I mean, you look at some of the purchases you've made, whether it's a home or a car, at no point were you just like, yeah, give me that. I'll take that one. I'll take, give me the one in blue and then one in silver. We like those two colors and uh, yeah. Oh yeah, the paperwork, no problem. No, 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 no. Every now and then, unless you're like a total expert on the product and you've studied up on like, oh, the iPad or iPad Pro. I'm not like, saying nobody, I'm saying like, you know, I know, every, every now and then, but, but most of the time, it's exactly what you just said. Yeah. It's, it's, there's that thing, there's that thing at the end and you just need that like, yeah, when I went, my wife and I bought a house recently and the amount of think that entered into it and the amount of guidance I yeah. needed from, from friends, from, you know, uh, you know, finance people, from all sorts of things, you know, it was just nonstop for like a couple months yeah. to get over the hill. People just do this. And, and the thing is, is like, and not, there's nothing better than, than when you work with a complete pro yeah. salesperson, call them salesperson, whatever you want to call it, consultant, but just a pro that essentially knows their stuff, knows their game, and can sort of handle the last minute thing and sort of give you that calm uh, certainty and sort of take you over the edge to get to get the deal done. There's so if you're waiting and so you're like, well, it's in there, that, we've, we've covered this in yeah. the shows. It's in their court, or I've done this, or I've sent all the stuff over, or they're thinking about it, or they're gonna talk about it next Thursday at their staff meeting, you're already sunk. Jump back in there, get back in there. Get back in there, handle the last minute, take it over the finish line, handle the last minute stuff that's coming up, sell them, yeah. make them confident, and take it over the edge. We're gonna talk about another thing on the next show about this whole idea about allowing too many sleeps, uh, and this leads to the whole shopping cart is connected. We'll talk about it in another show here. Yeah, man. Um, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and uh, we'll have more coming at you very soon. Okay?